Utah's bad air has seen some improvements today. No longer seeing that unhealthy air quality right now in Salt Lake County as the skies have started to clear out a bit. Chopper 5 giving us a glimpse of the air all around downtown Salt Lake City and you can see the mountains here as well. But the inversion in the haze, they always seem to make a quick return, right? We'll check in with Kevin on the forecast in just a minute. But first, state lawmakers are looking at ways to improve this air quality. And as new specialist Jed Bull shows us, one idea involves Utahns drastically reducing our driving for an entire year. Free Fair February was a huge hit when UTA rolled that out a year ago. This year, legislators will consider an entire statewide Free Fair pilot program to make an even bigger dent in our number one source of pollution. We did it one month in February a year ago. Every type of ridership went up. Utahns have shown they will ride UTA in greater numbers given the chance to ride free. Senator Todd Weiler is sponsoring an appropriations request from the governor for $25.5 million for free fare transit statewide for a year. Weiler points out there's not room for another highway through his district of Davis County. The only way that we're going to manage future growth through my district is to get more people to ride the train. And uh, there are barriers of getting people to do that the first time. And I, I sincerely believe um, that if we made it free for a year, we'll get a lot more people trying it out. Collectively, we drive 60 million miles a day in 1 million different vehicles. The committee co-chair believes the program could take more cars off the road than any other effort. Every time we've done zero fare UTA, one day, two days, three days, one month, we've increased ridership. And I think one year is the next logical step. It's in the governor's budget and needs to pass through the Executive Appropriations Committee and both houses. The first thing that needs to happen for clean air in our state is that we not let anything further bad happen to the Great Salt Lake. The lake bed exposed by drought is causing new airborne dust sources. We need to keep water in the lake because we can't afford to have that big new dust source. The appropriation would add air monitoring and chemical analysis in communities surrounding the Great Salt Lake. So that we can monitor in real time what is coming off the lake bed. The director of the Utah Division of Air Quality believes the bills aimed at protecting the Great Salt Lake are vital. A very unique challenge, but also uh, we understand that we're responsible for a lot of that uh, diminishment of the level, lake levels as well. And so there's things that we can do and, and really the focus the last two years of the legislature to make sure that those water levels are increased so that we can mitigate those impacts of the dust. Another appropriations request would expand electric vehicle charging stations statewide and also develop software to track and report information on the consumption of clean energy throughout the state at those stations. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl.